Hi there, Libra Scorpio. Welcome into your love reading. Let's see here. What do we have for you and whoever you're dealing with? And just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed, okay? So take whatever resonates, leave what doesn't. And if you feel like this reading is not for you or you want more information in other messages, definitely check out your individual signs. Um, they are going to be on the little cards over there. And uh, yeah, that is going to be on my other channel, the Sunny Virgo Tarot, okay? So let's see here. What do we have for you? And where do we go? Uh, we have intimacy, fade, broken, body, and engagement. This feels like a little roller coaster, which I'm not sure if it is. I'm not sure if it is with the same person or if we have multiple people wanting to come forward. Because there is this feeling of... I almost get this feeling. It's like it's someone that perhaps you were intimate with, either physically or emotionally. You know, you revealed a side of you to someone. And this person, I feel like they then just walked away we even have here ghosts so maybe you were ghosted um mixed signals blocked avoidance i feel like this person was kind of a little bit back and forth and um maybe they they created some distance here between the two and i kind of feel like there is a lot of confusion here but then we also have like meant to be with faith luck destiny and engagement and i almost get this feeling of like however this happened it was supposed to happen and that is the part where i don't know yet if this is about like this person needed a little bit of space, but they're going to step up and give you commitment. Or if this rejection needed to happen because you have someone new coming in. So let's try and figure that out with the tarot and see where we have. I did see the magician, so it could be someone new that you're manifesting. But let's see. Um, what can you tell us about the current energy between my Libra Scorpios and this person that ghosted them? have a lot but we do yeah five of pentacles uh we also have the nine of swords eight of cups we have the six yeah we have the six of swords and the ten of pentacles i re i actually feel like you could have seen like a pretty good potential future with this person but i don't know it's like out of the blue this just ended and i really feel like it was out of the blue i really feel like it was like you weren't really counting on it and we even have the hermit it's like this person ghosted you out of nowhere and i do feel like there there is a lot of overthinking and a lot of anxiety and stress coming from your side because like okay what is happening here it's like is this a sign for me to move on is this a sign for me to wait is this wh what is happening here and with the six of swords and the eight of cups it does kind of look like it may be good for you to move on or for you to at least create some distance and embrace the separation um because I don't know i even feel like i feel like right now this is not ready and i even feel like in the meantime you may have other things to do with the pentacles it could very well be related with career and you have other you have projects to accomplish you have things to focus on and this person may not be helpful for that but i also feel like there could be someone else that may jump into the picture and provide you with something better with something more than this person can provide to you uh and we even have here problems that kind of require love release your ex yeah Love yourself first. I really feel like it may be time for you to let go of this person here. What can you tell us about this person that goes to them? So we do have separation, but then we also have reconciliation. So it could be that there is a potential reconciliation, but we also have codependency. So if it was to happen right now, I don't think it would be healthy. But this reconciliation, if it happens, it could happen to be honest in years i don't think it's going to be that fast it could happen in years and I've, again i feel like in the meantime maybe you have like another soulmate to meet you have other things to do that may be more aligned with you at the moment okay so what is your current energy we have the queen of swords and three cups to be honest you could already be connecting with someone but i do feel like you're in a very like no bs kind of energy and i love that for you because i feel like you know what you want and it is this two cups and if this person can give you that then it's like screw it i'm gonna move forward you know um and i definitely feel like you're in a very i don't know you don't want to you don't want to stick around for too long like past the time that you should stick around and so i feel like that's why you're getting into this place of okay i kind of need to make a decision you know and I feel like your decision, is, it's getting ready to be like, all right, we have other places to go. We have other things to see. And 
I feel like the thing here is like focus on what you want. Focus on what you want to create in your life. And that is going to be the energy that you're going to attract to yourself. Because where energy, uh, where focus goes, energy flows. And I really feel like if you keep focusing on, I want a love relationship, I want, you know, a relationship that could eventually lead to marriage and, uh, you know, building a family and I want someone to feel comfortable with, focus on those things. And I really feel like you're going to become, you're, you're going to get clear on what this person is to you. And right now, especially with the three cups, I feel like you're, you could be seeing this person more has not necessarily a distraction, but is this person really aligned with me? You know, I feel like you could start to question that. Well, what is this person's current energy here? Could be dealing with a Leo. Doesn't have to be, though. Uh, we have Leo and we have um, Capricorn coming through right now. But uh, Queen of Wands and Queen of Pentacles. This is very me, 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 me. Because Queen of Wands, that is a very passionate energy. I do feel like they are very passionate towards you and they have a lot of attraction. But um, with this Queen of Pentacles attached to it, it gives me the, the feeling of I know who I am. I know I can't have anyone and I'm just focused on myself and my career and my life right now. You know, and I feel like they're just looking into new things and they're just looking into the outside world. Um, and so I don't think that their focus right now is too much on having a commitment of any type. And they could definitely be in a more player-ish kind of thing. So, you know, with this fate and the broken, it does give me the feeling of like rejection is God's protection. And I feel like you may have better things here. So how are you feeling about this person and this whole situation? We have the two of pentacles. Yeah, I really feel like you're going like a little bit back and forth. It's like, I need to make a decision. Ace of swords, right? I need to go somewhere and I, I just don't want to stay here. So I feel like right now you could even be making a decision to focus more on your career, but I feel like you, you also want this commitment. So to be honest, I feel like you have someone new coming in and maybe it is good for you to move on and see what is out there. You know, how is this person feeling? Ace of cups with the king, king of wands. I, that is the thing. I kind of feel like they do want something else with you, but at the same time, it's like, oh, but let me keep my options open because if this doesn't work out, then I'll have my options open and I'll be able to go towards someone else. So this person, I don't think that they're too reliable right now, to be honest. And it's just like a little heads up. Be careful about that. What are your intentions and next actions? All right. And... That's cool. What about this person? What are their intentions towards my Libra Scorpios? And next actions. All right. So for you, I actually see you kind of, you know, connecting with different people, going into new beginnings. And I feel like your energy is definitely focused on the two cups. You know, on, I want a relationship. I want something solid. I don't want to be like fooling around and, and just not getting what I deserve. And so I feel like you're really getting into this place of I'm going to focus on me and I'm going to try and look for options and other people. And actually, that causes a lot of anxiety. And I feel like it almost serves as a wake up call for this person. And then they could come forward like out of the blue, even have here the tower. They could come forward out of the blue with, oh, wait, no, I kind of have feelings for you and I kind of want this. And so... I do feel like the second you kind of step out into the world and you look at what, uh, what is out there, this person comes forward with communication and wanting to, you know, wanting to get you back. Um, but I really feel like, like, as we speak, it's almost like if it is just up to them, it's not going to happen. But if they get triggered by jealousy and if they get triggered by seeing you with someone else, then it may actually happen and this person is actually going to come forward. But it's almost like they need that thing of like, hey, Libra Scorpio is moving on. Uh, and they need to see it. They need to feel it. They need to be acknowledged. They, they need to be aware of it for them to actually move forward. Because otherwise, they're just going to stay in their fears. Because I feel like the, way, the reason why they don't step up with you is because they have a lot of fear of getting hurt and this thing not working out. That's why they want to keep their options open. Um, and actually, tell me more about this King of, of Swords. Four of Cups. 
Okay. So this is actually good because I do feel like they would be, you know, more willing to put and invest in on you. But again, they only will come forward with communication if they feel like they have missed a shot. It's like, it's only when they see you thriving in this Empress energy and connecting with others that they actually step up and go towards you. Are you going to be available then? Because there could actually be someone new coming in that, you know, maybe more aligned with what you want. Uh, so what can you tell me about new love? Okay, so there could be a past life lover coming in. Um, we have past love, self, and we have uh, divine and fear. So there's a couple of things. I do feel like this person would also serve has new love because I feel like they would uh, transform and be more open to a commitment with you because they then feel like it is um, that, that, that they are losing a shot with you. But I, I do feel like your energy right now towards new love, you may want it. But I also feel like you're a little bit conscious about it. It's like, yeah, well, yeah, okay, but mm, I don't know. You know, let, let me have my time for myself, you know? And I feel like you, you could be a little bit frightened that this person is going to just, the new love, it would just, you know, come back again and, um, um, sorry. I feel like you would get into this place of like, oh, this new love is just going to end like the, like this or like my previous relationships and... Um, they're just going to get bored and they're going to walk away and everything. And I feel like that is something that could be blocking you from actually bringing in someone new. But I do feel like, you know, your guides have some sort of a plan for you. And I definitely feel like they kind of want to, they, they want to connect you with someone else that may be very aligned with you spiritually. Uh, but I also feel like you still have history with this person to uh, develop. So I feel like then... It's going to be up to you because I feel like when this person comes forward, it if if you meet someone in the meantime, it's going to be in the very beginning stages, you know. So it's either you explore more of the new love or you kind of give this person a shot. So I feel like then it would be up to you. We also have Aquarius energy here, by the way. Um, but yeah, let's see here. We have here your confidence intimidates me. That clearly wanted to come out from this person. What are, what, what, what did this person want to say? I promise I won't hurt you anymore. I'm serious this time. Uh, all this time I thought you were wrong. I'm seeing the truth now. Uh, you deserve someone better. I did see you're so hot all that one is sex though. So again, I feel like this person is still a little bit into the player-ish kind of energy and wanting to keep their options open like we said before and I feel like it is only it's truly only when they see you or they think that you're seeing someone else that they are going to step up until then I really don't see that happening so uh yeah but don't like I mean I'm saying this but like don't go and just meet someone just to make this person jealous okay do it because you truly want it and because you're truly ready for it otherwise I feel like it would be good for you to focus on yourself and focus on your career um, because you clearly have things to accomplish but you know in terms of potential I do feel like when this person kind of gets their BS together um, I do feel like this could have a beautiful beautiful potential but this person kind of needs to get shooken up and I feel like the only way for that to happen is for you to see someone else that's what it appears uh, I'm becoming a better person I'm changing I promise I see you thriving and I couldn't be prouder what else do we have I kind of feel like this person could also still be spying on you in some way. Uh, I ruined everything, didn't I? The more we talk, the more I love you. Yeah, and I feel like that was starting to scare them, you know, because they didn't want, they didn't want to catch feelings. And so it's almost like they lied to themselves saying, oh no, I don't have any feelings for Libra Scorpio. And then they see you with someone and it's like, oh wait, no, I do have feelings for Libra Scorpio. What was I thinking? I want you back. Um, I need to focus on my healing. My friends and family uh, want to see us together. But I almost feel like this person kind of pushed that away and it's like, oh, what are you talking about? Like, that would never happen. Ugh, gosh. All right. Any final messages or advice for my Libra Scorpios? Okay, yeah. So we do have unrequited love, playfulness, pay attention to the red flags. There we go. This person is in a very player tox not toxic necessarily but in a very low vibe not aligned with commitment right now 
Um, but it is okay for you to have feelings for this person. We also have a word waiting for. I do feel like a reconciliation would happen, but it's like, don't stick around and just wait for this person to wake up. It's like, move on with your life and try to do your best to just focus on you. If you want to get to know new people, please do. I feel like it would do you very good, even if it is just coming from a place of, you know, let me make new friends and see what happens. You know, that, that could be it. That could be it. But it is enough for you to kind of pull back your energy from this person a little bit and empower yourself and sort of like build yourself, you know, but I feel like you're already doing that in a way. Um, and yeah, and I do feel like, you know, with the romantic feelings, this card for me, it is a card of mutual feelings. And with the Ace of Cups there, again, I do feel like this person has feelings and wants more with you. But at the same time, they don't want more with you because it's like I would lose my independence and I would lose who I am and I would lose this and this and that and the other. And so they're right now are in a very unstable place. OK, so I feel like you should know that. So, yeah, Libra Scorpio, this is what I have for you. I hope it resonated and helped somehow. Um, if it did, definitely smash like button for me and don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate it. That is the easiest way for you to support me. But if you want to look deeper into this, we can get a private reading. The link is going to be down below. And you can also check out my Patreon where I have self-care content and twin flame readings. And over on the Bird's Nest Arrow, you'll have pick cards. So a lot of things for you to explore uh, and feel free to stick around as long as you want. But yeah, that is it. So I love you very much. I wish you the best and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.